Hello everyone, I hope all of you are safe at home. So I have made this video for my dear students to help you out in your study. So today I am going to explain the first chapter of geography, the earth in the solar system. You can also go through this chapter by refer the NCRT textbook. If you don't have the book, you can also download the book from the Google. And the book name is The Earth Our Habitat. So before I start the chapter, let me ask you one question. Why should we know more about this chapter? The answer is, as we are living in the earth, so we should have all the idea about on it. So for that reason, we should know more about on this chapter. So let's start with the chapter. Do you ever observe? The whitish broad band or like the white flowing river across the sky on a clear starry night. What is that? That is a cluster of millions of stars and this band is called the Milky Way galaxy. So you must have heard in the ancient times this Milky Way galaxy is called Akashranga and that is also known that river of flowing lights on the sky. So what is Akashranga? Where does it found? It is found in the universe. And what do you mean by universe? So a group of such different galaxies are made this universe. And how we define the galaxy? So a galaxy is a huge system of billions of stars, cloud of dust and gases. So how all these things are related with our chapter? The solar system is one important part of in our galaxy, in Milky Way galaxy. So what do you mean by solar system then? The system which is bound by the sun or the sun gravitational system bound the earth and all other objects which is found near to it. Soul in Roman mythology which means the sun god and the system means related with, to the sun or we can say the family of the sun. Otherwise the sun, moon, the planets, other planets and uh, asteroid, metroid, satellites stars this all forms together the solar system this sun moon planets satellite this all are stars these all are also called the celestial bodies so let's start with the most important object of the solar system which is sun mm -hmm. so sun is known as the head of the solar family it provides the pulling force which bound the solar system the sun is only ultimate source of heat and light to the solar family. Sun is also called a star. So my question for you, despite being the nearest stars, why the sun heat we didn't feel that much to the earth? What is the reason? The reason is the distance of the sun from the earth. And the distance is 150 million kilometer away from the earth. For that reason we didn't feel that much heat on the earth. Then move towards the next important object of which is found in our solar system that is stars. You must have noticed in the sky at the night time some sparkling shining dots which signs like diamonds are present in the sky what are they? They are called stars. So they are made of hot gases and they have their own heat and light. So let's talk about some of the important stars. So have you observed that group of stars they made the different patterns in the sky at the night time? What are they? So they formed or the group of stars made the different patterns in the sky that is called the constellation. Some of the examples of constellations are Ursa Major or it is called the Big Bear constellations which 
consist of numerous stars and another one is the small bear constellation and you must have heard about this Saptarishi. Okay, you know about this Saptarishi is a group of seven stars. Then talk about another important star which is pole star or north star. Let me tell you one important thing about this pole star. In ancient times people used to find their path at the night time by following this pole star. Why? What is the reason? How the pole star is helpful to the human being? Because the, this pole star never changed its direction. It always found at the north direction in the sky. So for that reason, the, it helpful to the human being in ancient times. And this pole star is must more shiniest star among all the stars so it is easily recognizable by the people at the ancient times where the people they do not have the watch to see or they do not have the light facilities to go from one place to another place so they can't see the path so for that reason they are taking help of the pole stars which always found in the north direction and it will be helpful to know their direction okay which dire which direction they want to go then let's talk about another important object which is found in our solar system that is planets the planet word derived from the greek word planetai which means wanderers so do you know how many planets in our solar system we have so we have eight planets in our solar system so i'm going to tell about the names of the all eight planets which placed according to their distance from the sun and they are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune so one important and easy trick i'm going to tell you you can easily remember these name of the planets according to their distance from the sun by remembering one simple line and that line is my very efficient mother just served us nuts you can focus on the first letter of each word you start and which shows the planet's name okay like my very efficient mother m v e m so mercury venus earth mars and just served us nuts so just J S U M so Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn and Neptune. So like this you can easily remember all eight planets name according to their distances. Let's move towards some other planets like Mercury. Mercury is been called the nearest planet around the sun and which takes 88 days to complete its one spin on its orbits. Then another planet is called Venus. Venus is called the Earth's twin. Why? What is the reason? The reason is the size and the shape of the Venus is almost same with the Earth. So for that reason it is called Earth's twin. Then some other planet like Pluto and UV313 is called the dwarf planet. Why? What is the reason? The reason is it is very very smaller in its size and it has no satellite also so that's reason these planets are being called the dwarf planet after august 2005 okay then we move towards the next important object which is moon and which is found in our solar system so you know moon is moving around the earth on its orbit when the moon comes between the earth and the sun the one side of the moon which faces towards the sun which get the light from the sun and the other part or other side which faces towards the earth it doesn't get light it remain dark and you all know that moon doesn't have its own heat and light so it is getting the light from the sun okay so for that reason which side of the moon is facing towards the earth 
it doesn't get the light and that day particular day in the earth is called the new moon day or amavasya in that day the moon that side of the moon is completely remain dark we cannot see the moon okay then after fortnight two weeks later the moon uh, moves and uh, plays to the other part of the earth and that time the sun light or the light of the sun completely on the moon for that reason we can see the full moon on that particular day so that day is been called the purnima or full moon day then moon is also been called a natural satellite of in our solar system its diameter is nearly one quarter of the earth and it appears big in size from the earth why what is the reason the reason is the distance of the moon from the earth and the distance of the moon from the earth is nearly 384400 km so for that reason moon appears very big in size okay so we only see the one side of the moon from the earth why what is the reason the reason is moon moves around the earth it takes total 27 days and it takes the exactly same timing to complete one spin around the earth so for that reason we only see one side of the moon always from the earth okay and the life of the moon on the earth life of the people in the moon surface is not possible why the reason are no such conditions which support the lifestyle of the people is available there so like that it doesn't have water it doesn't have air it has very big big mountain and the moon surface are very undulating then uh, moon surface doesn't have it doesn't provide quite visible temperature where the um, survival of the lifestyle or human beings can be possible so for due to all this reason the, there is no life can survive in on the moon surface for longer period of time okay then at last but not the least another important object which is found on the solar system are asteroid meteoroids then another also important thing which is found in the solar system are man made satellite also so man made satellites you know these satellites are made by the scientist and they send this satellites with the help of rocket and they eject the rocket will eject this satellite on the orbits where the different planets are moving okay so why the scientists are sending the satellites to extract more information about the planets so for that reason scientists are sending these satellites the examples are edusat and uh, mangalyaan like these these examples of man made satellites which been india has been sent uh, to the um, different orbit of the planets okay then uh um, let me explain about the asteroid and meteoroids are they similar what you what do you think are they similar the asteroids and the meteoroids we can't say they are almost similar they are vary with their size okay so the asteroids vary means asteroids are the huge rocks which is found between the orbits of mars and jupiter in the view of scientist the asteroids are the parts of the planets which exploded many years back and the meteoroids are much smaller in size or tiny rocks or the particles which is found on the orbits it may fall on the earth when it fall on the earth it uh, it uh, burn and heated up okay then it takes the form of uh, meteor or which we can say the shooting star okay and it fall on the earth surface and it create a hollow okay so that's all about in this chapter we i have already explained all the important object which is found in our solar system 
now i hope it will be helpful to learn the question answer or extra question which i have already shared in the whatsapp group now you can easily remember this chapter question answer by referring this video so thank you have a good day ahead